What's up, world? It's your boy, The Bearded Brother, and welcome to the first episode of The Bearded Reviews, where I talk about different beers in terms of style, color, aroma, all that good stuff, and even the history of that style of beer to give you an idea of what that beer is about, what it tastes like, so you can check it out and enjoy it just the way as I do. And also, I'm going to tell you what you can eat it with so you can just really have this amazing mix of food and beer, because who doesn't like that? So I want to di dive into it. Um, on this first episode, I want to introduce you guys to the Rogue Honey Kolsch. It's just a uh, Kolsch style ale um, that is made with wildflower honey. So it's going to have more than likely like this sweet kind of um, finish to it. It's going to be a little weedy, um, but um, that's just due to the yeast and all that stuff that goes into the beer. Um, so it sits with this like golden kind of color to it. Let me see you guys see that. And just a reminder to make more art in your life, whatever that is. But you can see it's kind of gold, almost like a light copper um, color. Um, and usually that's kind of where um, cultures can fall. Even lighter to like straw, like super kind of yellow um, and things like that. It's easier to drink, so it's really perfect for anyone that's really not familiar with beer, but want to know more and enjoy a little bit more, but don't want to jump into the deep end. This is the perfect way to come in, dip your toe in, and um, really just kind of get a feel for what beer can really be outside of that bubble water we call Budweiser. Yeah, I said it, so fight me. Um, at, my, at my Instagram name, so I know it's real. Um, but, uh, anyway, with this, um, usually it's gonna, it's gonna be a little sweet with the honey in there. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, so I'm just gonna take this first sip and let you guys know in a second. Oh yeah, that's good. It kind of hits around the spot, true to taste on like a style of Kolsch, um, what a Kolsch would be. Um, very light, spritzy, sweet, easy to drink, very just, um, easy to enjoy with, um, something probably a little on the, um, nuttier or even salty side. So if you like pizza, I would go with like a pepperoni pizza. Um, but if you want to fancy up your pizza a little bit, prosciutto will be really good on there. Maybe a little bit of basil, all that good stuff. So, um, definitely want to do something like that, nuttier cheese and things like that. That's what you want to uh, pair this with to kind of give that, that nice little salty, sweet um, balance to it. And you can just really just cleanse your palate with either a bite of that pizza or that cheese or a sip of this. And so it's not bitter at all. So that's what, if you're worried about bitterness, this doesn't have any bitterness. It's very low on the bitterness level side. So um, it's more sweet and like that so like that like again like i said like it's gonna be perfect for new beer drinkers or someone that just wants something refreshing and easy to drink you might be watching the game or chilling with your friends and you don't want to go too hard in the paint because you know how that can get sometimes when you're just trying to enjoy something and you get to that level so um i definitely would say uh get this for you can get this as a great gift. Um, that's what I would give it for, for new craft beer drinks you try to bring into the world. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have the correct glass for it. It's this uh, stange. It's gonna be a more a little cylindrical, straight up kind of glass. This is just a regular American pint glass, but you'll get a lot of the flavor still in there and the aroma, which you'll get, you can smell the honey pretty good in there. And you can smell the yeast and you can smell like the wheat uh, aroma to it, um, which I really enjoy. It reminds me of like putting a little bit of honey on your bread or your toast or something like that. I got to get another sip. Hold on, y'all. That's good. Definitely wish I had some prosciutto or some cheese with me. Um, maybe on the next review, um, which you'll uh, be, which of these will be coming out every Wednesday at noon so if you got a suggestion on a beer or anything like that drop it in the comments um breweries check out my rate sheet i'd love to do a special uh review of a beer that you just released or you're trying to sell more of 
um, just let me know. And so thank you for listening. And ooh, before I forget, you're probably wondering like the story of Kolsch and where it came from. Don't worry, I tell you. It's a um more of a German style beer. Um technically it's not American, it's from Germany, so technically we can't really call it Kolsch. It's a Kolsch style ale. Because it's only a Kolsch when it comes from Cologne, Germany. Um, that's the only way you can really get like a true Kolsch. But like this fits the bill pretty perfectly, and um that's why it's built built up in popularity. Um it's it's uh easy to drink, spritzy light. And really anyone can enjoy it. So um, if you live out in Germany or you go to Germany, um, let me know how close I was to the comparison. Um, and invite your boy out there. I like to travel a lot abroad. I want to be flued out every now and then, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, so make sure you get Rogue Honey Kolsch. If you want to try something new, and you want to try something light and you don't want to go fully head first into the deep end. You just want to dip that little, uh, your manicured, pedicured toes. Not manicured, that's your fingers, baby. Um, in the water and kind of enjoy there. Tell your friends about this review. Show them this so they can understand more about what a cold shit is. And, of course, drink up.